recover the diffuser. I can't do this shit all on my own. Hello everyone and welcome back to another exciting tutorial today. So today we're going to be looking at how to do color grading effectively in Premiere Pro, how to use the tools of color grading in Premiere Pro and how to get really awesome results from it. So let's get started. All right. So before we begin with the tutorial, just make sure you go into your window section in top left over there in the Premiere and from there, make sure the Lumetri color panel is checked. And once you have done that, uh, the next thing which you need to do is simply create an adjustment layer and pull that adjustment layer in the timeline on top of your clips. And I feel like I prefer doing color grading on adjustment layer. I feel like that doing color grading on adjustment layer is always better. It gives you more control and more freedom to do your work. So I simply rename this adjustment layer to color grading so that uh, it's easier for me to understand. And once you have done that, the next thing which you need to do is go to your Lumetri color panel over in your Premiere, wherever you have kept it. And this is the panel where you're going to be doing your color grading. So, all right. So I'll quickly show you what all features are there in the Lumetri color panel and how you can use them to your advantage. And I'll be mainly focusing on the curve section because this is the place where you have the most control. And this is the place where you can have most fun in creating colors. Okay. So I'll just quickly turn off my above layer where I have already done the color grading for this video, the clip which you saw in the intro. So as you can see, as soon as I turned off the clip, so you can see a huge difference. So this is the original clip without any color grading done. And this is this was the one which was used in the intro clip, right? So let me just simply go over the basics over here quickly in the metric color panel. So as you can see, when you uh, just click on this, oh, basic correction like you know click on any of the tab and they will just expand so basic correction as you can see it gives you like you know your temperature control kind of stuff then tint would be something like your tint and saturation would be how much color you want in your clip like you know simply basic correction and if you guys want so there are simple presets given by adobe themselves inside Premiere Pro. so if you select any of the presets so you can see already that it is already giving a very dramatic and a very different look uh, to our clip right so and if i just simply tweak these i can st still tweak the settings over here using the lot and everything like that so yeah that's pretty much it about uh, basics of uh, basic correction right so when you come down to the creator section so this is the place where like you know you can use some of the you can use some of the lots created by some creators who give their lots for free so this is the creator section where like, you know, they create their LUTs and you can apply them over here. So these are some default basic LUTs, which are provided by Premiere, uh, which are provided by Adobe. I'm sorry about that. So that you can use them uh, in, for your clips. So let's say if I select something like beach kind of thing. So you can already see that it's doing a lot of the stuff to our video, adding little blues and giving more highlights to the clip like this, right? And if I want, I can simply adjust the uh, intensity of this as well, like this. So if I reduce the intensity, so like let's say something around 65% over here. So you can already see that it is compared to the origin tip, it is still giving a pretty nice look to the video. And if I further want to improve and do more adjustments to this uh, basic creative look, so I can simply come down to this, these options which are provided over here, like, you know, I can increase the sharpness like this. So as you can see, it gives a little more detail to the clip. If I want, I can increase the vibrance so that I can increase the, you know, the vibrance, the saturation. So yeah, you still have a lot of controls over here and with the tint balance as well, kind of like this. So yeah, that's about, uh, that's pretty much about your creative look option, right? And, uh, all right, so now we come to the fun part, the part which gives you the most control and which is the most fun to play with in uh, doing your color grading. And the one which I use most of the times to do my color grading is the curve section. So the curve section consists of one called RGB curves and the other one called human saturation curves. So we're going to be using both of these to get really cool results and how you can use them. I'll just simply give you uh, basics and a heads up, right? So your basic curves is like, you know, we're going to be right now we are in RGB curves. So your basic curves looks like this. So what each box area simplifies, like, you know, signifies is that 
this area would be all your blacks this area would be your shadows this area would be your midtones this area would be your highlights and this area would be your whites this is the master section which i'm working in so let's say if i create a key point over here on the shadows and on the highlights so the very basic rule which everybody does to increase contrast in your clip is that simply pull the shadows a little down like this and pull your highlights a little up so hence it gives you a little more contrast in your clip as you can see already right so if i turn off the clip you can see already that we have adjusted the contrast of the video just like that and in order to further like let's say i want to get get more control over here so i can simply go to the red sections of the video and if i make a key point over here a key point over here and a key point over here so what is this going to do if i increase the shadows it's going to give a little reddish color in the shadows and if i decrease this it's going to like you know reduce the um, red from the sky or the whole clip i would say right and just like that you can create more different looks to your video and if i select the green section and like this as you guys can see right so you can play around with your curves and it takes a lot of like you know there are lots of possibilities which you can do with this right so just to give you guys an idea this is what i did right but yeah mostly most of the people in order to create really good contrast in your clip this is what you can do right decrease your shadows a bit and increase your highlights a bit right so this is how you can create uh use the curve section to get really neat and cool looking uh, results okay so now let's come to the hue and saturation first so this is the one which is like you know um which is very more like you know which is a lot of fun to play with so these curves like you know this hue versus saturation so what this signifies is that you know if i let's say as you can see there's a color time color timeline over here so let's say i create a key point right over here on the red section and if i increase this red section so what this is going to do is this is going to increase the saturation of all the reds inside the video as you can see right so this is going to okay my bad uh, i should create key points over there as well so that the other points don't move right so let's say if i increase the reds like this so as you can see uh, it is increasing the saturation of the reds in the video and if i decrease it if i pull it down it's going to decrease the saturation of the reds in the video as you guys can see clearly right if i put it down to the extreme i think that makes it a little more visible on the video so just like this you guys can like you know create or control the amount of saturation of different colors in your uh, video so let's just say that for this clip i want it to look like you know give it a little vintage kind of look so what i'll do is i'll simply uh create a keyframe for every kind of color over here and i can like this you know if i want i can increase the uh, i can decrease the saturation of all the colors if i want my sky to be a little more blue i'll increase the saturation over here like this of the sky of the blues in the sky and reduce the saturation of all the other colors so this way my sky has a little more saturation and every other thing has a little like you know little less uh, saturation and now this hue versus hue would be like you know let's say uh, i'll create key points again so this hue versus hue would be like you know let's say i want to change the color of the red like you know all the reds in the video to something else so if i select over here you can see right you know on the vertical timeline again i have the color wheel and let's say if i want my red to go change to something like you know magenta like this or maybe to a bluish color so all the reds as you can see they are reacting to where i am shifting the hue of the reds right so this is your panel where like you know you can get a different kind of vibe look so let's say if i want my bluish sky to look a, a little more greenish so if i increase the blue to green right like this and like this as you can see so now from blue i have a green sky right over here so as you can see so this was like before and this is now after as you can see right already a very cool looking scene like this and i have not just like you know just by simply using the hue hue saturation also and if i come down to the hue versus luma section okay let me see so if i come down to this hue versus luma section so hue versus luma would be simply nothing but simply like you know increasing the lightness of the colors so let's say if i select the red colors and if i increase the 
like you know brightness of the red color so it's something like this right so it's about increasing or decreasing the brightness of these colors right so that's pretty much about the basics of u versus luma right uh, like not just u versus luma i mean the hue saturation curves so that's how you can use the hue saturation curves in the in this the lumetri color and this is the part like you know i would say where you should focus the most where you can get most of the results which you want right so color wheels match would be like you know simply getting control like this using your mid tones shadows and highlights and in case you guys don't know about mid tones shadows and highlights i would say like in simple tone shadows would be like you know your dark areas mid tones would be like you know center point of mid shadows and highlights and highlights would be your the bright areas in your area so that's just a little basics if you guys didn't know about that so hsl secondary would be like you know if you guys want to like you know simply uh, let's say again it is kind of similar to your hue versus uh, this curves right you know hue versus you so what you do with this hsc uh, hsl secondary would be like you know you can select you can use the marker to select an area in the video and if you want like this so you can increase uh the selection of that color and now if i want i can like let's say about this much and now if i select it to re uh, like do some like you know correction kind of like this oh, give me some. all right so if i do some correction so it's going to be like you know simply affecting that part of the area where in like you know the range the way the range we have selected like this right so it is like you know selecting a particular color range inside your clip and then affecting that range specifically like you know as you as we saw in the uh, curves versus curves section so this is something similar to that all right and the last thing would be your vignette section and as you can see like we know vignette would be increasing your shadows inside your corners of the video so if i decrease this as you can see right so it's kind of like this so vignette would be like this right so this is all about the basics of lumetri color so this would be the basics of your lumetri color and in order to get your results so like i said just simply go to your curve section so let's say i go to my curve section i go to my hue saturation curves i want this scene to look a little more desaturated so i'll decrease the colors a little bit more over here for this scene right and um, then i'll simply what i'll do is the next thing which i'll do is i'll simply go to my basic correction over here i'll decrease the saturation a little bit again so you can use all the tools given inside of the lumetri color to get really cool results like this as you can see so i'm already getting a little bit of a vintage vibe from this clip right and um, if i go into my um, let's say create a section and over here now let's say if i select any of the options in the creator section of the luts so let's say i select this so you can see right so you can play around with a lot of options over here you can take day, like you know if i want something like a little bit of blue vintage i can control this as well and as you know that i can increase the increase or decrease the intensity so if i decrease the intensity it gives a really mild look to the clip like this as you can see and uh, just to increase the little bit of vintage look in the video i'll increase the this option like you know something like put it down to 25% i'll increase the sharpness of the clip and increase the vibrance of it and decrease the saturation again so as you can see from we created a look from this to this instantly just like that just by controlling a little bit of a lumetri color panel right so now let's say if you guys want to create a look like this wherein you know i only have my reds and nothing else right so what we can do is so i'll just simply pull down the adjustment layer again over here okay i'll create i'll cut the adjustment layer over here so that we don't affect any other parts of the video so let's say i want to create a look like this wherein i get to see only my like you know the reds in the video so that my gun pops out a little bit more so that it looks really cool so all, all i have to do is simply turn off this adjustment layer and i'll come down to my adjustment layer select it go to the lumetri color panel go to my curves 
right and now first what i'll do is i'll create keyframes over here on hue versus saturation for all the colors right and i'll pull down all the colors down to the bottom get rid of all the colors over here just like this right and i'll increase the reds over there So yeah, as you can see from this, we already created this, right? And in order to make it pop out a little bit more, I'll simply go to the RGB curves over there, decrease the uh, shadows a bit, just like this. Increase, give me a sec, I'll, I'll create keyframes on my shadows and highlights. So I'll decrease the shadows, increase the highlights a little bit to give it a little contrasty look. Again, I'll come down to my hue saturation curves. I'll go down to the luma section. I'll select, I'll create keyframes again on all different parts of the color section, color wheel. Right, and I'll simply increase the brightness of the red color a little bit. Just like this, you know give it a little bit of a boost of the red color in the clip so already from this we created this right popping out the uh, color on the gun so as you guys can see so you can get as much creative as you want and now if i wanted to get even more creative what i can do is simply use the creative section and uh, you know increase a little bit of brightness in the video just like this increase the sharpness a bit and uh, decrease the vibrance let's see decrease the overall saturation to balance out the reds in the video wait i decreased it even so something like this would be fine so decrease the saturation like this right so already from this we created this right so it looks pretty sick right so all you have to do is simply learn just give time to lumetricolor panel and just like that you can create really cool colors and get amazing results from. right so i hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial today and please make sure to subscribe to the channel share it with your friends if they are new to editing and if they want to learn editing as well and make sure to join my discord uh, channel as well uh, the link to my server will be in the description because i am sharing a lot of stuff over there some free presets so the color grading which you saw in the intro clip i'll be creating presets for that and sharing those as well on my discord channel and i have a little more like you know a lot of stuff over there as well like some more tutorials and more guides over there for you guys to learn about editing the basics and get better at editing right so please make sure to join the discord server and share it with your friends as well till then bye bye everyone thank you so much and see you all in the next tutorial